Hi guys, this is I'm Stuck and today we are looking at metals, non-metals and metalloids and all of their properties. So first of all we'll start with metals which are on the left hand side of the periodic uh, table mainly. And metals are good conductors of heat and electricity and this is because they have delocalized, electricity, um, delocalized electrons in them which can carry electricity around the metallic structure. They're also shiny. They have a high density because they're very heavy for their size, a high melting point, which means they need a lot of heat to break them down. They're ductile, which means that most metals can be drawn into thin wires, so things like copper and everything. Then they're malleable, so most metals can be hammered into thin sheets, if you think like aluminium, for example. So let's see what, what are their chemical properties. So they can easily lose electrons and that means they form positive ions. They form metallic bonds with other metals. They corrode easily, so, uh, they, they tarnish easily and the iron does rust. They react um, with oxygen to form oxides and these are called bases and then solubases give alkali um, solutions which is all about acids and alkalis. So now we need to do the complete opposite, which is literally the complete opposite, and that is non-metals. And unlike metals, they're literally, uh, uh, instead of a shiny appearance, they have a dull appearance. Instead of having a good conductor of heat, they have a, they are poor conductors of heat and electricity. And this is because they have strong covalent bonds in them, which means they have no delocalized electrons. Now, they are very brittle, they're not ductile, they're not malleable, they have a low density, and they have a low melting point. So literally complete opposite. Now, chemical properties of non-metals is they tend to gain electrons, whereas metal, um, metals tend to lose electrons. But this means that they form negative ions, like um, calcium minus. Then they, um, there's ionic compounds. And since metals tend to lose electrons and non-metals non gain electrons, they can form compounds with each other. So if I give you an example of oxygen, which is a non-metal, that can form um, compounds with many other things, like magnesium, so magnesium oxide. And that is a very common example of how a non-metal can easily form a compound with, an, uh, with a metal. Now, they, as I said before, they've got covalent compounds. Um, and they can react with oxygen to form oxides. Now the last one we need to do is metalloids, which as you can guess are right in the middle. Um, they are in the line between the metals and the non-metals. And as you can probably guess, they have a combination of properties. So they, for example, I'll give you one of the things, is they can conduct heat and electricity better than non-metals, but not as well as metals. And that's the same for all of them. So they, they don't have a dull appearance, but they don't have a shiny appearance. They're right in the middle. So they're right in the middle of the two. So thank you for watching this video. Please can you go and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Bye.